back with another video for you today. And this is a video you guys have been asking for. Why didn't we feature any of the Memo Paris leathers in our leather videos we did? Why? Because we wanted to do a separate video. They're special. <laughs> they get their own video. Separate video. In this video, I'm ranking these fragrances. And here, what you see is by date. And Dahlia also ranks her favorites. And... We, we didn't agree. We didn't agree on all of them. We did agree on number one, though. And number three. And number three. But, but, but not the rest. Not the rest. No. We also have a special discount code if you are ever interested in purchasing any of these Queers No Mods from Memo Paris, the leathers, at ZGO, a 10% discount code, smelling great. So if you want to find out all about these, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm this Dahlia. This is Dahlia. Hi. So you've seen her before. Once or twice. Once or twice? Anyway, we're finishing out the leather. Um, We've been doing a lot of leather videos. Apparently the New York Times thinks leather is the the, the note for spring, so you, she, you're onto something. Yeah, you sent me an article My about... My dad sent me the article, oh, and yeah. then, so I shared... Anyway, hopefully you shared it through your social channels, I but did post it, yeah. We're onto something. It's a three-part video, um, and this is the third uh, installment where we are featuring um, a pretty stellar brand that does leather really well. They do. That's why they have six of them. That's, and that is genuinely incredible. It is incredible. So we have six fragrances from the House of Memo Paris. And the first one that was launched was Italian leather in 2013, along with Irish leather in 2013. Then you have French leather here in 2014, African leather in 2015, Russian leather in 2016. And last, we have 20, 2018, there, there was Moroccan leather. So on this channel, you can see reviews for Russian leather, you can see reviews for uh, African leather and also Moroccan leather. And hopefully, maybe in the future, we'll review a couple more. But before we start, I also want to mention again that there is a discount code thanks to our friends at ZGO Perfumery here in San Francisco. If you're ever interested in purchasing any of these Memo Paris leather fragrances, you can go to their website, ZGO Perfumery. I'll have a link in the info box. And buy any of these and you get 10% off. The code, the discount code is smelling great. And so check that out if you get a chance, but let's get started. All right, so my ranking for number six was Italian Leather, launched in 2013, which I think is this one? That is the one. This one. Um, it's good. It's a very good leather. It's, um, it's just not my favorite of the six. Uh, I think it might be the tomato leaf that's throwing me off. I get how that could be sort of an Italian association, but um, the herbal quality with the leather... Um, of of this fabulous selection of leathers is my number six. What was your number six? So my number six is Irish leather. So I want to let you know a little bit more about Italian leather. Italian leather is a fragrance that I bought from this house, the very first fragrance. I was not offending your choices. And I love that really funky tomato leaf note in here. It is funky, and it, I guess that's the inspiration. Tomato leaf, tomatoes are used in cooking in Italian food. Um, so in the Italian leather, you have notes of tomato leaf, leather, vanilla, galbanum, benzoin, tolu balsam, labdanum, clary sage, myrrh, apopanax, orris, musk, and sandalwood. Now, galbanum is also going to appear in a few other fragrances from the leather collection, especially uh, it's going to main player here in Moroccan leather where it's really prominent galbanum note. But I really love Italian leather. I love the tomato leaf note. And um, you don't find tomato leaf note in a lot of different fragrances. But I, we did I find it recently it. in Sicily's um, with a campan, which you oh God, immediately which I bought. Love. Yeah. Yeah. I like it on its own a lot. You do? Yeah. Anyway, this is Italian leather and it's your number six. And my number six is Irish leather. This one right here. Um, I don't know. I think it's a little underwhelming uh, next to Italian leather. I just feel like Italian leather for me is the better of the two. They were both launched at the same time. This one contains juniper berries, uh, mate, tonka beans, and amber. And just like you were thinking, oh, why tomato leaves? I'm thinking, why mate? I thought mate is more of like a South American note. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I went with uh, that being it number six. It has a fresh kind of 
quality to it. The uh, aromatic, right? I think it's the juniper berries. I think so too. Yeah. Um, and it's it is a very good leather. Well, I think all of these are great leathers yeah. for me. Uh, I mean, that's why they're getting their own video. But I mean, somebody has to be at the bottom. Somebody has of to the be. list. So we disagreed shockingly. Um, so you picked Irish leather as your number six. I picked Italian leather as your number six. Okay. We're gonna line them back up again. This is gonna annoy some some, <laughs> some people that they're not in order. Okay. So what's number five for you? My number five is French leather. Now why is that number five for you? Um, okay. Because Are you not a fan of a rose? I like rose and leather a lot. Okay. And I think they go together really well here. Um but it's not the leatheriest leather of all the leathers. You're right. That was a lot of leathers in one word. That's why it's number five. We're not on Folsom Street anymore. <laughs> um, but we're so close. We, never mind. We'll, that, yeah. There's other videos where you can hear about that. Yeah. Well, let's go back to the French leather. I'm mm -hmm. gonna tell uh, these folks about uh, what French leather is all about. So you've mm -hmm. got rose, you've got suede leather in here rather than true leather. And then you have lime, musk, pink pepper, juniper berry, clary sage, vetiver, cedar, resins. To me, this rose is so green you're almost smelling the leaves and the twigs of that rose. And I think it's all of the other notes that are in here that kind of make the leather a little more, I mean, make the rose a little more green to me. It's a beautiful rose. But it is, it dries down to a nice soft uh, greenish rosy suede leather. It's not a, prominent for you probably, it's just you. You know, it's, it's kind of going by the other leather videos we did with the idea being that a, a factor in the decision of ranking is how leathery the leather is, like this, the prominence, I guess, of the note. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance. The only reason it's at number five is because the other, other ones are more leather forward. Mm -hmm. Some Makes people sense. say fruit forward. Fruit forward. In this case, it's this is leather, leather, forward. leather forward. I like that. Yes. All right. What's your number five? <laughs> My number five is Moroccan leather, the one that was launched last year. I know it's tough because I really love it, and I'm really, really obsessed with galvanum and fragrances now. Where's my t-shirt? Galvanum. You bring out the galvanum in me. Yes. <laughs> galvanum. It's a, a resin from a plant um, known or in uh, this fragrance, uh, Chanel number no. 19, it's very, very prominent galbanum note in there. And it is prominent here as well. It's very, very green and pungent, so you gotta like that kind of a note. But it is really lovely. It's just, if I'm ranking it, that's where it ends up here on this list. But with this one, you have galbanum, iris, leather, cypress, vetiver, ginger, mandarin, orange, honka bean, orange blossom, amber, and styrax. So lots going on, but for me, the, the standout notes for this is uh, definitely the galbanum with the iris, and then the cypress, and then of course the leather. Those are the prominent notes. It's a very, very green leather. So if you like green, we love green. We do love green. It wasn't at my number five. Okay, so four. What was your four? My four, I believe, was Irish leather, which you already covered. Yes. So I liked Irish leather better than he did. So now why, one. you liked it because it was aromatic and fresh? Yes, but it's a fresh leather, which is kind of, I haven't encountered that very often. Either it's, um, usually I don't really like fresh scents, but this is a, I think I like the juniper berries with the leather, and I think it is a, um, more of like a warmer weather leather. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I think it kind of works. So, um, all right. Yeah, so just again to recap, this one is, Leather, juniper, berries, mate, tonka beans, and amber. Do you get the mate? It is very green. I don't at all. I get, um, I, I think I get, I think I get the juniper berries. I don't really get tonka bean. I don't really get, um, uh, I do want to mention something. All these fragrances are created by Alianor Massonet. In fact, the entire, uh, house, the perfumer is one perfumer, Alianor Massonet, and the reason I'm bringing that up is because I find these two and this very close as far as leather scents go. The Italian leather, Irish leather, and Moroccan leather. In terms of quality or in terms of how they smell? How they smell. Oh my god. I they're very green. All. They're very green to me. They're, they're all very green, but they're all very different greens. So if you, if you guys saw the video that we did where we were talking about vegetal greens versus like um, mossy greens, I think the tomato leaf one the italian is 
Um, it's just so different to me than the juniper berries in the Irish and how, I mean, they're both well, herby, <clears throat> but the tomato is so, so strong in the Italian, whereas this blends with the leather. Remember at the beginning I was saying that the galvanum note is going to come up because it's already an um, Italian wow. leather? It's come up more prominently here. So I guess I should say these two are much closer than these two, but I think they're sort of in the same ballpark yeah, for me, at least for me. It's really pretty. Okay, I only had this forward because it's number four. <clears throat> oh, okay. So for me, what's your number four? For, my, for me, my number four is um, Italian leather, this one. And it's, it's, it's a great leather. I love it. <clears throat> and you, I mean, you've worn these quite a bit. This is the very the first one I bought from this house. And then I also bought a fragrance called... Um, um, Latin Quarter, Quartier Latin, uh, which is a sandalwood and fruity, fruity sandalwood. And well, how do they wear? Awesome. I love this one. It's awesome. I love it because the tomato leaf is a note that you don't see much in fragrances. And it starts out very green and pungent, and then it dries down to a leather, which is quite phenomenal. Do they both? Does the Irish dry down? Uh, uh, Irish dries down. They all, for me, all of these dry down to a leather, mm -hmm. and it's just at the beginning and at the top you have other things happening. Got it. But the rose, like you said, is not so leathery. It's more suede. It's a very, very soft, almost material rather than leather. It's very, very green with the green kind of twigs and like mm -hmm. rose twigs and leaves and thorns and things like that thrown in. So, anyway, Italian leather. It's a great one, but I like some of the other ones a little more than the Italian leather, so that's why it's number four for me. Which brings us to... Number three? three. So what's your number three? Three. <clears throat> um, we're tied. We have the same one for number three, so that would be, I believe, this one. We both liked Russian leather at number three. What are the notes in this Russian So Russian leather? leather is pine tree, lavender, leather, mint, rosemary, cedar, basil, cypress, nutmeg, clary sage, tonka bean. If you are curious about this one, please go watch my review. I really love this one because it smells like a frozen fougere that dries down to a leather. It's very, very ice cold upon initial spray with the pine tree. I think it's truly inspired perfectly, perfectly with Russia, le Russian leather. I mean, when, when I think of Russia, I think of cold winters and snow and it's just a very, you know, like the pine trees, you know, covered in snow. I don't get the cold feel from it. It does have an aldehyde kind of a feel. Interesting. Uh, for me, it has okay. that same sort of champagne sparkle um, to it, which is really appealing. And it's it's bright, but not fresh, which is awesome. Oh, okay. I, I can see that. It's not fresh. No, not fresh at all. But 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 it's very it's, vibrant. I think it's very aromatic. It's a fougere. Yes. It's definitely a fougere. Yeah. Uh, with the tonka bean but there. But like that one patchouli that we reviewed in the silver bottle from Farmacita, what's it? That one was very cold. Okay. This t I don't have a cold feel with this. You don't Even though it. I do get the pine and it's beautiful. It it is. It's very aromatic. Um, but the leather is still very prominent. It's really good. Cool that we agreed on this one. So what's number two? My number two is Moroccan leather, which oh. you put at number five. Yes. Again, these notes are galbanum, iris, the leather, cypress, vetiver, ginger, mandarin orange, tonka, tonka bean, bean, orange blossom, and amber styrax. Yeah, amber and styrax. Amber and styrax. I think this one's great. Yeah. I don't actually see the similarity as much as you do, even though they both feature galbanum. This one is, um, it is a green leather, but the balance is pretty perfect. I think that's a real winner. Really? Number do two. you do you do you associate galbanum with classic? Does it have a classic feel to it? Um, Being that it's already in the fragrance called um, Rush, uh, uh, Chanel Number no. Nineteen. <clears throat> no, I, well, this one doesn't feel classic to me. This one feels pretty modern. Um, oh. The notes that I think there's a certain patchouli that is very classic to me. There are certain roses. Um, <clears throat> when there's a cinnamon or a nutmeg, that feels very classic in, in the sense of like vintage to me. Um, there are certain musks that kind of hit that note for me. Galbanum, it's not, it's not one that to me says from a long time ago or that has stood the test of time. It, it doesn't... Okay. That even though it's been in use for for some time, it it doesn't. That's not my reaction to it. Okay, good to know. <laughs> what, <laughs> what does galbanum mean to you? Galbanum means classic, like fragrances like Robert Piguet's. Is it Bandit? 
Does he have a fragrance called Bandit? You know he does. Okay, I think that one was a leather. Which it was is a really good leather. It, it utilizes galbanum, I believe. Maybe that's why I like this one so much, because that leather and galbanum reminds me of that one, which wears really well. There's also Le Siage Blanc from uh, Parfums du Cita, which is also leather and uh, galbanum. Mm -hmm. Anyway. But it does, this one also kind of has that, what I associate with aldehydes kind of feel to it, that fizzy kind of... Um, sparkliness. Sparkliness, which mm -hmm. I really like. <clears throat> okay. It was a very close thing between Russian leather and Moroccan okay. leather for me. Like I, I, it was I could have gone either, either way. way for two and three, but okay. it, it's just so nice to agree sometimes. Yeah, it is. All right, what's your number two? <laughs> My number two is French leather because it is such a beautiful green rose. It is true what Dahlia said. It's not so much a leather to me. It's more suede, and almost acts like it's material, like fabric cloth rather than like a full-on leather, but it's just beautiful. I just love wearing it. I spray it on me and walk around in the city here in San Francisco, and it just projects like there's no tomorrow, and I keep wanting to smell the greenness. It's just a green rose. And sometimes, you know, you're, you're wearing rose when it's so red and juicy. This one's not like that. It's a dry It's like green. a pinker yeah. kind of. Yeah, a... not so mature rose, not in a full bloom rose. I will, I will say that of these, this is one I would be more likely to wear. But in terms of its leatheriness, it is less leathery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But it's I agree. a beautiful rose. Yeah, I agree. So we agree on number one, huh? Number one, yes. I think a lot of people agree with this one being number one. It's just a universally loved fragrance, African leather. And what is it about African leather that you love? It's the leatheriest leather of the bunch. It is a, um, it almost has like an, uh, well, we should tell them the notes. Yeah, so this was launched in 2015. It's got cardamom, leather, saffron, vetiver, cumin, patchouli, geranium, oud, bergamot, and musk. I think it's, it's the a oud and leather that gets me. It's, which is, it's very classic. But the, the oud is such a great sort of platform for the leather to shine in this one. Um, and it's just, it's unabashedly leather. It's, it's... But see, for me, you're forgetting the most important things. This is, to me... More about spices than leather. The leather is the the, the 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 climax for the fragrance. But for me, it starts off with that cardamom. It is phenomenal. This cardamom in here, it's absolutely delicious. It, it, there is there is a kind of spiciness, but for for me, it's the oud actually. It's the oud. Okay. That I'm, that I'm loving here. Let me smell on you. Oh my god, the it's cardamom really is so good. good. It's, it's so good. It's really really good, and it's. But it's not it's not too heavy handed either. It's not it's not like I mean there are some oud fragrances that I, I kind of can't handle it. It's too too oudy. Well, it, I just feel like there's something like on me that I could like scrape off. Screech. It's like it's it's like a, hmm. a coating. Oh wow! In a but but this isn't like that at all. It's the it's the right kind of balance of oud, and it's a beautiful beautiful construction. It's it's really very. It is it's so good. Yeah, for me, I don't get the oud as much. For me, it's like I said, spice market with lots of leather. So it's almost like walking into a spice market in Africa somewhere, and they have all the animals that have been like killed, and there's the leathers that they've been like working oh, on, right? And all the spices everywhere. I don't know. That's what my visual is. That what you smell on my skin is the spices, yeah. or is it? It's so cardamomy. Is it so cardamomy? I'm sorry, not yeah, cardamom. There is kind of a bright, yeah. I okay. Almost aromatic, like it's like it's very aromatic. Bright, and and that's funny because the top th three is that true? Yes. Is the Russian leather one aromatic as well? We've yeah. said that about all three of them, and I guess you could conclude that what we like about these the most is when it's a leather with a bouquet of sort of really beautifully crafted aromatics to fuse with the leather and make <laughs> it something special. Um, yeah, we agree on... We agree. Yeah, we agree guys. on number one. Yes. I think a lot of these people are going to agree with number one, too. This is a universally loved leather fragrance. It's just, I think, I hear from so many people, not only on YouTube, on this channel, but also on Facebook, and also see Instagram photos. People really love this one. Mm -hmm. So It's really it, good. It's a crowd pleaser, perhaps. Well, I... That's all right. Yeah. Um, but it's I guess, good. Yeah. I mean, if it's good, why not? Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys. And you can get 10% off. Yeah. 10% off. Don't forget, ZGO Perfumery. I have a link in the info box. 
Use the code smelling great. Smelling great to save 10% off of any of the leathers from um, Memo Paris called Queers No Mods. Other than that, guys, let us know what your favorites are from uh, the Memo Paris leathers. Put a comment down so that we find out. Also, um, let us know if you like any other leather, leather fragrances. And let us know if you like these leather videos that I did with <laughs> Dahlia. Maybe there'll be more than three. Maybe Maybe there'll be more leather. Going. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Um, yeah, no, so we're on to something, um, it's a three-part...